Good morning children. In this video, we will be discussing different types of numericals based on chemical kinetics. The first question says, for the decomposition of azoisopropane into hexane and nitrogen at this temperature, the following data is given. There are three different experiments. Experiment 1, this is 2 and 3. Three different uh, experiments, three different time, 0, 360, 720 seconds. The pressure is given in millimeters mercury. And you are asked to calculate the rate constant. And for these questions, we are following first order kinetics. So first thing is, let's write the equation for it. Azo isopropane. Now what is azo group? Azo group is NN double bond. Isopropane, iso means this. I mean the radical is attached to center carbon atom. This is azo. So if you complete the valencies, it is CH3, this is CH, this is H3, this will be CH, CH3 and CH3. Azo isopropane, this is undergoing decomposition. It's in the gaseous state. It will give normal hexane. That is C6H14, a straight chain and nitrogen. Nitrogen also in the gaseous state. This is obtained. Right? So how to begin with this is you need to follow uh, what we did in equilibrium. Like initial pressure. What is the initial pressure given? Uh, initial pressure let us assume as P0, P0. And when the products are not there, so their pressure will be 0. As we did in equilibrium, initial pressure is P0, P0, 0, 0. After time t, after time t, say as per the coefficients we know P has reacted means this 1 mole, 1 mole, 1 mole. So we can write if P reacts, P of this and P of this will be formed, right? If P0 was there, P0 has reacted, how much is left over? So let us write that. So let's write that. Here we will write down uh, total total pressure after time t. After time t. Let this be represented as say, uh, you know, pt. We will write down that. Uh, pt. Let's write what the value will be left over as. This is p0. P has reacted. The leftover is P0 minus P. Let's write for each one. Then the, this PT will calculate separately. This leftover is P. This leftover is P. Because nothing was there, P is formed. Nothing was there, P is formed. So it's exactly like what we were doing in equilibrium. Now let us see what is the total pressure after time T. This is individual. For this azoisopropane, after time T, this is left. For hexane, this much. For nitrogen, this much. Total pressure after time t for all the reactants in the products. For that we are going to add them up. We will add them up. So what it is? We will write P0 minus P plus P plus P. So all these we have added. So one of it gets cancelled. What we are left over with? We are left over with Pt is equal to P0 minus uh, P0 plus P. This is what we are left over with. Okay, so now what we will do, using this equation only now, we will first solve P. What is this P value? This P comes out to be Pt minus P0. Because this P and P0 will take this side. So it is Pt minus P0 is equal to P. This is the value for this P which we found out. Right? Now, we need this to be, you know, substituted in this particular equation. Why? Because if you remember, we were writing the rate constant K value for the first order kinetics as 2.303 by T log A by A minus X. What is A for us? A is P0. What is this A minus X? This is P0 and, and this P we have to calculate. P0 minus P. So P we will have to put from here into that particular equation. So what we are going to do is, that means we will be solving this value. What are we solving? We are solving A minus X. 
what is this a minus x for us it is p not that is this value minus this p value we are going to put here so with this p when we are putting there it will be pt minus p not right so when you open this bracket it will be uh, p not minus pt plus p not when you open it it is 2p not so it is 2p not minus pt this is nothing but now your a minus x this is your a minus x now this a minus x you are going to substitute in this equation and this a is p not itself did you follow this so what we will be doing now is we will be substituting these things here and we get the formula as 2.303 by t log p not by 2 p not minus p t this is our rate constant for this particular question it's not the standard always it is only for this particular question so now we will calculate that k value at two different uh, you know time time 360 we will solve it so this value for k comes out to be 2.303 taking time as 360 log what is that initial value given in that question you have seen seen this question that zero ke liye it's given as 35 right so we will put that value over here so what we will do is we will put this value here this is uh, 35 35 divided by 2 p not that is 2 multiplied by 35 minus at 360 what was the time uh, this thing given pressure given 54 that was given in the question this is 54 so this value we have substituted it okay so when we substitute it and uh, you know you are going to solve this whole thing that means 2 into this minus 54 when you solve this you will get the k value as 2.175 into 10 to the power minus 3 per second okay i hope this point is clear so you have to solve it 35 divided by this if you take it is this is 70 70 minus this 16 so 35 by 16 we have to find out the log of it and then calculate you will get the final k value as this same way you are going to also solve the k value at the other time that is 720 second we'll be calculating k 2.303 by 720 log this remains 35 only and this is twice into 35 minus now this was given as 63 in the question itself and when you solve this it comes out to be 2.235 into 10 to the power minus 3 per second this is the value for the rate constant so you you are asked to calculate the rate constant actually it's near uh, not exactly the same roughly you can say it is the same the k value remains the same throughout the completion of the reaction so in a way in this you can calculate the average value for k average k you can take you can just add them up and divide by 2 so you will get the answer as 2.2 ten to the power minus 3 second and what this is for the first order reaction unit per second this is your answer okay question 1 is clear moving on to the next question the following data is given the decomp the equation is given here two different experiments uh, time 0 and this is uh, in this is in second and the pressure is given in atmosphere two different pressures for experiment 1 and 2 calculate the rate cons rate of the reaction when the total pressure is this the total pressure is given different in this So first step is exactly the same what we did earlier SO2Cl2 you will write down as SO2 plus Cl2 all are in the gaseous state uh first you are taking initial initial pressure P0 0 0 then you will be writing here like after time t after after time t if the p reacts p will be formed p will be formed the left over after time t that is you can say the total pressure total pressure after after time t after t we can say the left over is p not minus p this is p and this is p 
the way we did earlier it's the same thing so you will get a similar equation because the coefficients for this also are like the previous question we did so again when total pressure after time t total will be the pt that is the sum of all individually for so2 this is left over after time t for this p for this p so what is total add them up p not minus p plus p plus p we are adding up all this so one of it gets cancelled we are left over with again p not minus p again you will be left over with p is equal to pt minus p not like we did earlier pt minus p not so we have to put this value for p now again here to solve that a minus x since the coefficient is exactly the same like the previous one just see this in this also we were getting pt is equal to p uh, p is equal to pt minus uh, p not right the p value which we calculated was pt minus p not so this p we were substituting here and we got that a minus x so same way when you substitute in this question also you will be getting the final formula for the rate constant so now let us just write down this as uh, a minus x a minus x would be pt uh, p not this p not minus this value when you put there pt minus p not when you open this up it will be 2p not minus pt so this value we will be putting now in the rate constant k is equal to 2.303 by t log p not minus 2p not minus pt so this will be a final formula then uh, using this we will be first calculating the rate rate constant that is the k value right so what we do is i'm just moving it up yes so you will be having that k value at time 300 because there is only one time interval given here 100 seconds we will be calculating the rate constant k value that comes out to be 2.303 by 100 time log what is p not given in the question 0.5 0.5 divided by twice of 0.5 minus 0.6 this data was given in the question you can check here 0.5 and 0.6 okay so using that data only we are now moving ahead right so you got this value right so when you can just solve it this into this will be 1 1 minus 0.6 it will be 0.4 and when you solve it you get the k value as 0.2.2316 uh, into 10 to the power minus 3 per second this is the k value now what our question says is calculate the rate of the reaction when the total pressure is 0.65 not the one that is given as 0.6 here it is saying 0.65 is the total pressure then what is the uh, you know the rate of the reaction that is what they are asking us to calculate so now we will again go with this particular formula which we wrote here so we will be ha we'll having we are having p total as 0.65 atmosphere okay so this is our p total okay this was plus pt is equal to p not plus p right so we have to first solve this p value here what was the formula p is equal to pt minus p not so using this as pt there we will be solving now what is p p is equal to pt is 0.65 we are using this formula and what is p not p not is in the question given as 0.5 so when you solve this comes out to be as 0.15 atmosphere this is your to p now what has reacted this is your p now using this p now we have to move ahead okay so what we do now is in the previous one what you were doing is you were so using this pt right i mean this one uh, 0.65 the previous one which was given the data but in this particular question 0.65 was pt given so using this first we find p this p you are going to put here now right so it is uh, basically the pressure of so2 cl2 at time t we are calculating that is p not minus p what is our p not value it's given in the question 0.5 our p comes out to be 0.15 so we are left over with 0.35 atmosphere this is now our p this 
P we are going to use now to calculate your rate of reaction. So what is the formula? The rate at whatever time is given as K multiplied by P of SO2 Cl2. What is the K value we have solved just now? The K is this that is 2.2316 10 to the power minus 3 multiplied by the pressure of this 0.35. And when you solve it, it comes out to be 7.8 into 10 to the power minus 5 atmosphere per second. This is your rate of reaction. It's not the rate constant, it's the rate of reaction. Okay, I hope this point is clear. Okay, first is you are using this same formula to calculate the K value. Till here we have calculated the K value. You got this as your K value. Then they are saying in the question, calculate the rate of reaction when the total pressure is this. That is, this PT was now given as 0.65. Using this, we will be solving this P from here. Okay, so you have this formula. P is equal to PT minus uh, P naught. This formula only we have used here. PT is given here. P is equal to PT minus P naught. This is PT minus P naught. That is P which is calculated 0.65 is the given question and p naught is already given the data you solve that p to be this this p we are going to substitute in the equation for this one the total pressure now at time t is p naught minus p from that equation only uh, we will put the values and calculate this as the pressure now and finally the rate of reaction is equal to k into the pressure of so2cl2 and finally you get this as your answer Second question is clear. Another question based on that pressure format only. Equation is this. Two different experiments. Time is given. Pressure is given. Calculate rate constant. Now children, see this is important. This is a different question where the coefficients are two. It's not the same formula we have to use here. It, now let's write the equation first. N2O4 plus O2 and balance it. It is 2N2. Please make sure it is not the same equation you are using here. So I have written the equation. Initial, initial let the pressure be P0. This be 0, 0. Products are always 0 in the beginning. Now how much will be reacting? Coefficient is 2. So we will write down 2P will react with it and form 2P and P. Because the coefficient is 2, 2P two will react form 2P and P. How much will be left over? It will be two, uh, P naught minus 2P. This left over will be 2P. This left over will be P. So how much is the total now? PT we have to solve. PT is the sum of all this. What is the sum of all this? P naught minus 2P plus 2P plus so this 2P, 2P gets cancelled. What are we left with? We are left over with P0 plus P. That is PT is equal to P0 plus P. Right? So what will be P equal to? P will be equal to PT minus P0. This might appear to you as same. But now when we are going to substitute in this, it will be different. Right? So what we are uh, supposed to do now is... We have to take this value as a minus x. We have to take this value as a minus x. So what is your a minus x? Your a minus x is nothing but p naught minus 2p. So we will put this value of p in this one. So what you will get? It is p naught minus uh, twice of this whole value. pt minus p naught. Okay, this is the uh, P not P from here. I have substituted here. When you open this up, you will be getting as 3 P naught minus 2 P T. This will be minus. This will be now a 2 P naught as plus. So that 2 P naught and P naught become 3 P naught minus 2 P T. This is the final thing which is your A minus X. This is very very important. Please make sure you understand this part. Okay, so now what you do is you will be putting the, uh, substituting in the, you know, equation. What you have, equation you have as, this I am just 
putting here you have this formula k is equal to 2.303 by t you will have this as log p not divided by 3 p not minus 2 pt so now we will we have to just substitute uh, things so it is 2.303 and the time is uh, 100 you have log initial is given as 0.5 divided by 3 into 0.5 right 3 into 0.5 minus 2 into pt is given as point this thing in the question only it's given 0.5 and 0.512 so we have substituted it here after you substitute this you can just solve it the lower part this is here this you can multiply this you can multiply separately subtract it so i'm just continuing here you will be getting as k is equal to 2.303 by 100 log 0.5 is in the numerator the lower part when you multiply and multiply this and subtract it you get it as 0.476 when you solve it calculate the log of it and solve finally you will get the answer of k as 4.88 into 10 to the power minus 4 per second this is your final answer for the question follow this one also please important children many a times pressure related questions are asked in the board exams also moving on to the next question it says sucrose decomposes in acid solution into glucose and fructose according to first order rate law T half is given. Calculate the fraction of the sample of sucrose which remains after eight hours. So first thing is using this T half, you will calculate K. The formula is point six nine three divided by T half. Point six nine three divided by T half. So you will put the values here. That is point six nine three divided by three. You will first calculate the K value. Okay, so this K value comes out to be point two three one per hour. This is your K value. Point two three one. One is this side. Point two three one. This is K value. Okay. Now using this K value, we will have to further calculate, substitute it, and calculate the fraction. So you will be using that formula. You have that formula for the rate constant K. K is equal to 2.303 by t log. You have that R not by R. R not by R. What are they asking here? What fraction of the sample, you know, remains? They are asking you what fraction remains. That means in a way they are asking us to calculate R by R not. So what you do is you first substitute the things here. K is 0.231, which is already done. 2.303. By time is given as eight hours. Log R not by R. What you do is you first calculate that log R not by R as such. You calculate it as such, right? That means you will be writing here. Just continuing this side, you will write here log R not by R. We can invert it later. It will be equal to point two three one into eight divided by two point three zero three, right? So you will be solving this value. Log R not by R is equal to you can just solve it. This comes out to be point eight zero two four, and then you calculate uh, from here only R not by R. R not by R will be R not by R will be anti log of this value. When you solve the anti-log of this value, it comes out to be six point three four five. Anti-log of this value you'll solve. So you you will be just seeing eighty in the anti-log column under two and mean difference column four. And when you solve it, you get R naught by R as this. Your final question says calculate the fraction of the sample which remains left over after eight hours. That means they are asking you to calculate R. R by R not, R by R R not. That means you you will have to invert it. So it is basically one divided by six point three four five. When you solve this value, it comes out to be point five eight. This is your fraction which is left over. This is what they were asking in the question. Please do not get confused. It is not R not by 
R they are asking you. They are asking you to calculate R by R. Not what fraction remains with with reference to the original. They are asking you. Did you follow this question? Yeah. Moving on to the next question. The activation energy for this reaction is given. You are asked to calculate the fraction of the molecules of the reactants having energy greater than this. So what you do is uh, they are referring to our Henier's equation. K K is equal to A e to the power minus E A by R T. This is what they are referring to. In this e our Henier's equation, this part. That is e to the power minus e a by r t. This is referring to the fraction of the molecules having energy greater or equal to the activation energy. So let's assume this part to be x. So we will write down this part as x means x. X is equal to e to the power minus e a by r t because this is what this x value they are asking us to calculate. X is equal to minus e a by uh, um, x is equal to e to the power minus e a by r t. Right. We first need to remove this exponential format. So for that, what you do is you first convert it into natural log. Natural log x is equal to this exponential term will go away. It will be just minus e a by r t. This will be your ln x. Now we have to convert this ln x into log to the base ten. So what we do is log x. Log x will be equal to we will when you are con. Uh, Converting into this log to the base ten, what you do is you'll have to multiply this with two point three zero three. So it's basically two point three zero three log x is equal to minus e a by r t. When we are asked to calculate that x value, so I'll take that two point three zero three the other side. It will be log x is equal to minus e a by r t, and two point three zero three also will go in the denominator. Right now we have everything. We have all the data given with uh, in the question, and then we will have to just solve it. So what we do now is that uh, log x value, log x is equal to the activation energy is given in kilojoules. So we'll convert into joules. It is two zero nine point five into ten to the power three. That is in joules. This part is represented. This is in minus value. The value is minus. It is two point three zero three. Uh, you have r value. R value in joule is two. Uh, sorry, eight point three one four. The temperature. Temperature is five eighty one. So let us substitute directly five eighty one Kelvin. We'll put the value here. After you put the value, solve this whole thing. You get answer as you get it here. Log x is equal to minus eighteen point eight three two three. This is your log x value. You are now expected to calculate x value. When you calculate the x value, it will be anti-log. Now, the it is the anti-log of a negative term. That means of the negative term before decimal you increase by one, it will be bar nineteen, and after this decimal you will subtract from one. So one minus point eight three two three. When you solve it, it is one six seven seven. And its anti-log means this before decimal term goes as ten to the power minus nineteen, and after decimal point one six sixteen under sixteen anti-log, you will check seven and mean difference column seven. So when you solve this, comes out to be one point four seven one. This is your uh, fraction. This was the expected answer. The fraction of the molecules having energy greater or equal to one point four seven. One to the power minus nineteen. Please note down and practice the questions on your own also. Right. Moving on to the next question. The rate of the reaction triples when the temperature changes from fifty to hundred degrees Celsius. Calculate activation energy. Two different temperatures. Activation energy to be calculated. So you will be following this Arrhenius equation again. At two different temperature means log K two by K one. Is equal to E A by 2.303 R into 1 by T1 uh, minus 1 by T2. You'll have to use this formula. Okay, so you have to just substitute the things now. It triples. Rate of reaction triples, so obviously the rate constant also triples. So you will have here log three because triples is given. If it is quadruples, four. 
if it is double two and so on activation energy r value we know in uh, joules the r value is uh, 8.314 8.314 temperature 50 degree 50 degree celsius you'll convert into kelvin uh, plus 273 323. It is 323 and minus this value 100 degree 100 is 273 is 373. You will solve it. Log three value you know. Log three value is point four seven four seven seven one. So when you put all the things here, solve this part, uh, you will get the answer for the activation energy as. uh 22.01 kilojoules per mole this is your final answer for the activation energy okay so i hope now this is okay i have covered you know all the typical questions of chemical kinetics so practice it once again thank you for watching